Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the Old School Picker. I had a sale this weekend of something that I will probably never again in my life sell again. Probably never find another one. It's a $120 toy. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. I am Chris the Old School Picker. I go around estate sales, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, wherever I can find stuff to buy for cheap, bring it here, put it in this shop, list it on eBay, and sell it for a profit. Hopefully, that's the goal, right? Well, this weekend wasn't the greatest weekend uh, I've ever had, for sure. Only 11 orders going out. Um... But now I did ship Saturday, so that's a lot of it. <clears throat> I got my shipping days mixed up uh, this weekend. Had some stuff going on Friday, so I did not ship Friday. I shipped Thursday and Saturday, so that's one reason, probably the main reason, the sales going out today, which is Monday, uh, <clears throat> is a little bit lower than normal. Normally, I'm around 15 to 20 items going out on Mondays for around seven to $750. Well, that didn't happen today. But still, solid numbers going out. 11 orders going out for $455.15. So I can't be mad uh, that $450 is going out with half a day Saturday, all day Sunday, and then it's Monday morning. So can't be horribly upset about that i'm happy about that i uh, did do some rearranging this weekend been super busy with some stuff going on you guys know that i finished my electric uh, got my air conditioner in if you think that was on Fr friday's video i guess uh but i was telling you guys about a big die cast buy that i bought well i cleaned out every bit of my death pile off this shelf back here and got my death pile in the garage and it's a total disaster i will slowly get it organized and get it gone through i'm actually going to buy some of these shelves probably a couple of these shelves put in my garage for just the death pile this unlisted inventory i don't have a ton but i've got quite a bit i got quite a bit but anyways this is the die cast by this is not all of it uh Probably, this is probably 80% of the die cast that we bought, but I also bought, uh, it's going to be two or three tubs of Christmas ornaments. I paid $700 for all of it. This G.I. Joe, that's not part of it, but 700 bucks for all of it. It does not look like a lot. It doesn't, but I'm telling you right now, each one of these cars right here is about, I'm, I'm going to say about a $40 average on sale price. So some of them will be more, some of them will be less, but I got some old models. These will be very, very good. I believe, uh, some small i mean like this little trooper car right here i think this thing sells for 20 25 dollars just that little car right there i did get a few hats in the deal um i do have my golf clubs out here i'm gonna start getting those listed but pretty much everything out here now is listed inventory besides this shelf i do still have some action figure stuff to finish up i did finish the barbies all my barbies are listed well the barbies from the barbie deal I have Barbies from the action figure deal I got too that I don't have listed. But I want to get started on this because I do have a little bit of money tied up. I spent $700, but like I said, this is not all of it. I think it's going to be around, if I had to just guess, I think it'll be around $3,500 to $4,000 worth of listings. So that's not bad for $700. Bucks. So. I did get some stamp books. These are both pretty cool. They're not worth a ton, like 30 bucks a piece, I think. But anyways, we got got quite a bit of inventory still. And then, like I said, I've got tons of inventory, older inventory, that I still need to get listed in the garage. All right, we got three sets of stickers going out today. So thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that has bought them. But today we have Kenny going out, James and Todd so thank you guys I appreciate you guys being supporters of the channel it means the world to me uh, and amazes me all the same so thank you guys 
I really do appreciate it. If you would like to buy stickers, the link is always down below in the description. Thank you to everyone who has bought them. Thank you guys. They're going out today. Anyways, we got 11 orders going out today for $455.15. So we got to get to Poland. And the first one going out is this figure back here. Super sad to see him go. But it was his time, right? I've had him for a little while. It's kind of a Jenga back here, I'll be honest with you. I've got so many of them back here. But it was this guy right here. All right, this guy is a man bat. Not He's from, it's pretty funny, he's from the Batman line. But he is not Batman, he is man bat. But he is a villain from the Batman animated series collection. And he came from an estate sale, not from the action figure buy. buy. But I've had him for a while. He was, they had him priced for me where between $2 and $7. So... He probably was like four bucks or something. And, but he's really cool. He's not worth a ton. I sold him. I took a best offer for $12.99 plus shipping. But how awesome is he? He looks so good up there. So sad to see him go, but glad to see him go at the same time. $12.99 plus shipping. I do have a couple of good, really good sales in this video. This, however, is not one of them, but man, I'm glad to get it sold because I've had it for a little while and it's cheap inventory. And uh, I'm always glad to get rid of cheap odor inventory, always. Not 100% sure where I picked this up at, but I remember I didn't pick it up long ago, but I think it was at a yard sale and I think I paid like a buck for it and it was like, it was sealed. I knew it'd be super easy to list and uh, it's going to be super easy to ship as well. But anyways, it did end up selling for $15.99 plus shipping. It's Despicable Me memory game. Not bad for a buck. All right, next item going out is some more old inventory. Glad about that. It's one of these belt buckles. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be that one right there. Yes, 1999 Enchantment. This is the Arkansas CSA belt buckle. When this one went cha-ching, I was hoping it was my last one because I knew I had a bunch of these Arkansas belt buckles at one time. Well, it wasn't the last one. It's actually the fourth one that has sold. And I still have four left, so I had eight. So I'm halfway done with them, and I've had them for a couple of years now, I think. But I paid around, I bought so many belt buckles. Um, I wish I had that on video, but they asked me at that estate sale not to film, so I didn't film. So, But I paid $3.50 a piece, but I bought like three or 400 belt buckles. It was a pretty good deal, actually. I sold a lot of them for $15, $20. This one I have reduced because I'm ready to get rid of them. $12.99 plus shipping. All right. It's Kathy time. So thank you again, Kathy. Not real sure how many I have going out today. I believe it's that one. I think so. Uh, Floral Essence Photopolymer Stamp Set. This is kind of the plastic stamp sets. From Stamping Up, of course, uh, Kathy sent me a ton of these things. She sent me all of those back there, actually. So, thank you, Kathy. I have been selling them pretty often, actually. So, And this one is a pretty decent one. Floral Essence. Sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Oh, sold another figure going out today. Oh, and it's another guy with wings. That's pretty cool. This, of course, is not Batman. It is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The original figures and this is wing nut yes wing nut and he comes with another small little figure called screw loose wing nut screw loose <laughs> be a pretty good name for a youtube channel right but anyways i took a best offer on this one i just listed him just a few days ago and he sold for 23.74 plus shipping i think i sent a five percent off sale on him or something He's pretty cool. He has a lot of these accessories. He's got his wings. He's got his gun up here. He's got his belt, but he is still missing some parts. And he does come with this guy too. So not bad. All right. Next item going out is in 
see one. And it's up here. And these actually came uh, from the 411 sale last year. And I'm glad to sell be selling uh, keepsake holiday ornaments because I bought some with this deal back here. As I was saying, I bought a ton of Christmas ornaments and a lot of them are the Hallmark, Hallmark Chris keepsake ornaments. But I have, in the last three or four weeks, I have bought two other deals of those. So I have Christmas ornaments running out my ears. So if I can be selling some right now in June, I'm glad about that because I have a ton of these things to list. I've been finding them and I've been paying very little for them. And a lot of times these things can be worth 10, 15, sometimes even 20, $25. So I don't think I've ever sold one more than 20 or 25. But when you're paying pennies for them, it's hard to pass them up even in June, right? So, but this is Keepsake Ornaments, Baseball Heroes, Babe Ruth, and Lou Gehrig. And like I said, they came from the 411 sale last year down in Alabama. I don't remember what I paid for them. It's on video somewhere, but it was very little. And, but what makes these really special is, that's right, they're viewer sales. So thank you, Sheila. She has bought from me before. I love the fact that eBay puts repeat buyers on the orders now, because especially with viewer sales, I know if you've bought from me before. So that's awesome. So I know Sheila has bought from me before. So thank you again, Sheila sent out a best offer on these for $7.59 plus shipping. Thank you very much. And she is Sweet Vintage Picks on eBay. I absolutely love that name. Sweet Vintage Picks. That's an awesome name. Thank you again, Sheila. C21. Man, C is wearing it out today. The C shelf is what I'm talking about. And down here on the bottom is a book going out today and i don't see it but man i've got so many i know it's in here i think that's it right there yep i actually bought two of these and they are paper doll books i knew they wasn't worth much I found them at an estate sale and i think they was like two dollars each i looked them up really quick and i was like oh them they're not even worth buying. I'm making very little on them. The other one was a JFK book. I already sold it. This one, of course, is Ronald Reagan. But they were so cool. I was like, I don't care if I make money on them or not. I want to buy them. So I bought them. I think they were $2 each. Um, just all kinds of outfits. Him and Nancy Reagan, of course. Probably the best president in my lifetime. Some will argue, but that's okay. But there they are. Ronald Reagan in his undies. <laughs> that's funny. Um, but anyways, this one, I ended up selling it for, I took a best offer on it as well, for $7.59 plus shipping. Not making much, but like I said, I couldn't leave these behind. I just thought they were awesome. I don't think they're real old. I think that's the problem with them. Still pretty cool, though. Okay, we got a... Um... Barbie going out today. It's always a good day when a Barbie goes out. And I'm guessing it's that one. I think so. Holiday celebration Barbie. And it's a real good day when these holiday Barbies are going out because they're not that good. This one is holiday special edition celebration Barbie. And it is from the year 2002, 56209 is the number on it, 56209, yes, that's it, paid seven bucks a piece for them, sold some for $100, and I've sold some for, like this one, $19.99 plus shipping, but even at $19.99, I'm making a little bit on them, still excited about the Barbie deal. All right, next three sales are actually really good. And would you believe it, I have something else going out on the seashelf. And I, I love this thing when I found it. 
and I paid like a buck for it. 1948 Ford Tractor Operator's Manual, model 8N. If you guys have watched me long enough, you know I sell a lot of auto manuals, but when I seen this one, I knew it had a chance to be pretty good. I mean, it's 1948. How many of these things you think survived? I'm going to say very little. I mean, I'm sure, I, I mean, they're not super rare, but you're not just going to find a 1948 Ford manual at every yard sale you go to. When I listed this one, I think it was the only one on eBay. I can't remember. I found a comp, but I couldn't, I can't remember if it was a sold comp or an active listing. But anyways, I listed mine. I have sat on it for, I would say two months. I know I bought it this year early spring so maybe two months not long but when you have a dollar in it it's not like you're holding out on it or anything but anyways it ended up selling for full price 29.99 plus shipping i mean that's not huge money but for a manual i thought that was pretty good 30 bucks plus shipping all right i'm gonna save the best one for last i'll go ahead and pull this one it's really good too but i'm really excited about the next one this one going out is on e shelf, and you might have guessed it. It is this DVD VCR combo. I believe this one is a recorder as well. I think. Yes. But it is Sony RDRX. Oh, VX515 VCR VHS recorder DVD recorder player for head. And it does also have the remote, which is always helps. Wish I had the manual for this thing. This is not a super valuable one, but I think I paid five bucks for this one. I think I can't remember. I've not had it long. Uh, I did list it kind of high. Uh, there was a bunch that was selling for and listed for 65 range. Well, I ended up selling mine for $74.99 plus shipping. And I just felt like mine was just a little bit cleaner looking than um, most of them on there. And I did test it and it worked fine. So $74.99 plus shipping. I'm happy with that So I am real happy with this sale coming up Ooh, look we made some room made some room down there that's always good i6 i6 i think it's the only thing in this tub i think and this is part of the action figure buy here and this is the kind of stuff that really gets keeps me going right here. I'm not going to take it out of the bag, but I will put a picture of it up. You can probably tell more about it in the picture anyway. But this bag right here is a full of goodies. It is 1987 Tyco Dino Riders Triceratops. It's near complete. It is not complete. It's probably missing. This thing has a ton of parts. It's probably missing four or five parts somewhere in that range. But it does have the action figure that goes with it. It's actually got two action figures that go with it. Clean and it did work. This uh, Triceratops, actually you put batteries in it and he walks. And then all the stuff, it's got like a harness and stuff on it. And the figures ride, ride with him. So it's really, really cool. It was missing the battery cover. That's one thing that really, really, really hurt it. I mean, this thing is... If this is complete, working, mint condition, you're probably, even out of the box, you're probably talking for 200 and something dollars. But I ended up selling this one. I did sit on it a little while, but I did end up selling it for $119.99. So 120 bucks. If you really want to get technical, I probably have a dollar in him because I bought a huge lot of action figures, 300 bucks. It included those G.I. Joe vehicles up there, if you can see those. And also that one that I still don't have listed. It's going to be a 
great, great deal. I mean, this is a third of my money back right here on one figure. I had over 300 figures, but I'm just for easy math. I'm just saying a dollar a figure, but which includes that's the G.I. Joe stuff. I, I would have a dollar in that as well. It was way over 300 pieces for 300 bucks. I still don't have all of it listed. It's going to be, it's a once in a lifetime deal right here. 119 bucks. Dino Riders. If you ever see that stuff, super, even the parts and pieces, super rare. Pick it up. If it's cheap, especially, you'll do good with it. A lot of collectors for this stuff too. All right. That's my sales for the weekend. I did decide to take him out of the bag and kind of set him up a little bit. He's not set up completely, but you guys kind of get the idea. One figure rides in here and another figure rides back here. So pretty cool. Uh, got to put this back up there. I did sell the combo and then all my other sales are over here. So I do have a little bit of shipping today. So glad to get them out of here. Glad to get them sold. Thank you guys for watching so very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Thank you to everyone who has bought stickers. The link for my stickers, channel stickers, is down below. Also, my store, my buy me a coffee, super thanks buttons down below. Bunch of ways to support the channel if you feel, if you want to. Uh, I'll leave it like that. So, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I just, all I ever ask really for from you is to watch my channel. That's all I really care about. But thank you for everyone who goes above and beyond to help support the channel. I appreciate it. That's going to be it for this video. Old School Picker out.